I got a handkerchief here. D courtesy actually of Dan and Dave. Art of play. Beautiful little art of play hanky. Cards are different. That is now your card. Uh, whatever that is. What is that? King of diamonds? Uh, cards go on the handkerchief. And I'm going to fold this like this. This actually will do it this way. We'll go under here and wrap it and wrap it even once more. Turn it like this. And by way of magic, King of Diamonds, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. We got three puzzles for you today by Hanayama, and they are very challenging, they're very beautiful, and oftentimes very satisfying. First up, we got the cast cross, the cast cross. Two pieces, uh, both metallic, <laughs> different colors, and you gotta take them apart. That's the goal, and obviously put it back together. After that, we have the cast valve, which is a little bit more challenging. Instead of the three out of six stars, it's four out of six, and it makes it uh, significantly more difficult, actually. And finally, we have the cast planet, which looks like uh, the COVID virus, uh, like an individual particle of the COVID virus. You've seen it, uh, but it's no, it's a planet, and uh, you got to get the ring off the planet. So that one looks pretty swell as well. Four out of six star difficulty. Before we get into anything, we just dropped some new t-shirts. If you guys want to check them out, all proceeds go to, well, they go to us and uh, we help make these videos possible. So your support is greatly appreciated if you want to check them out. There's some more stuff on the website, including uh, playing cards if you're a fan. First.shop. And without any further ado, like, subscribe. Let's get into it. Here you go. Haven't done one of these in a long time. Uh, it's been a while since we've done any Hanayama puzzle, but here you are. This is the cast cross. Shouldn't be too difficult. The puzzle's many angles limit the movement of the pieces. Even with all the corners, the puzzle still has smooth movement. Solve the puzzle by making good use of vertical, horizontal, diagonal, and rotational movements designed by Japanese designer, Eddie Nagata. <laughs> this box cutter, dude. Looks like I found this box cutter in prison. Little shank. go. I guess we can put a timer up, see how long this takes. Put it beside my shank over here. Shiny. Cross Hanayama. Weird because <laughs> they're sort of stuck. I guess one of the hard parts about this puzzle, or one of the tricky parts I should say, is when, I guess when you're pulling aside, not to be accidentally holding the other piece, because then it feels like it's stuck. So you really got to see what you're doing. Sorry about the reflection. There's no great way to film this without a reflection. Okay, pull this. That goes there. Try to remember these moves here. Boom. Rotate. Okay. Because at this point, I can't move anywhere else except this rotation. So that has to be, clearly has to be the move. Again, I'm not forcing anything. There's some resistance here. I, oh, there we go. Okay, how do I want to extract this? There's a small opening right there. Oh, I guess it wants me to... Can I do that? Oh, you guys can't see the timer now that I've zoomed in. Here you go. Don't mind my cracked phone. What if I go this way? I can go this way. And then through here, I will be able to rotate. Can I rotate all the way? I cannot. So, that's where I started. 
Can I go down one more? I cannot. I can go this way. Can I go up one more? I cannot. Okay, now that I'm there, maybe it is over here. Feels like that could fit, but it won't. Uh huh. I'll tell you what, this is going to be tricky to get back together. Because <laughs> I'm already pretty lost. definitely have to line up this small wedge with this gap here. That's the only way this puzzle is going to exit. And I have to bring the body around this side to do that because obviously if I just get it through there, it's not going to work. So I'm trying to slowly make my way, slowly make my way to the other side, but at the same time, I'm trying not to go backwards. It's very, it, it can be very confusing. The uh, Something about the shininess of the object. Uh, I think we're here. Where's that side? It is right there. We should be out. Hmm? Wait, what? How are we not out? There we go. That's only half done. We got to put it back. Yes, I think rotate here, or is it there, and then rotate. Okay, we have, okay, I remember that this was on this side, and that was on that side, so that piece has to go there, I think, or no. Sorry, has to fit directly under, directly under. If I could somehow twist it and push it that way, that would be ideal, but that does not work. I know there was a diagonal move here somewhere. I'm not sure exactly. Yes. Ooh, pretty satisfying there, that last move. About six minutes, not bad. Boop. Moving on to something more tricky, a level four out of six. Now, difficulty levels with Hanayama puzzles jump drastically. There's a noticeable difference is what I'm saying. Right, let's get our shank. <laughs> I love that I said that so calmly. Some jazz music playing. It's like, all right, time to grab our shank. Don't forget your cocktail and shank. And do not drop the soap in the shower. You guys are listening to Prison Radio. All right, let's read what this says here. This is the cast valve. The cast valve, the hint to the solution, is to decipher the unseen mechanism of the maze by rotating each of the six corners inside pieces. Huh. Designed by... Finnish designer, Visa Timonen. Sounds like an F1 driver. That is pretty. Ooh, that is pretty. Look at that. This, if you were to put this in a mechanics toolbox, uh, there's no way. The, like, this would be hidden in plain sight. No one would ever figure that this is a puzzle. They'd be like, that's a car part. Start. So with Hanayama, again, you got to watch out for, uh, every time they put writing somewhere, it's to help you with the orientation. So it's not just random. Having Valve here and Hanayama on the other side. Now, oh, okay. Do these rotate individually? No, they seem to rotate together. But I'm pretty sure, ah, okay. So what's happening is there is a middle disc and 
I can rotate the valves, but not when they are pushed in. So if this is this way, there is now a giant resistance here. Until I go here, no more resistance. I think the difficulty here, uh, because it looks like there's four halves, <laughs> if that makes sense. There's two pieces and each piece has two halves. One, two, three, four. And I think they get removed at different points in the rotation is, uh, is my immediate guess. And because of that, um, I have to test out every point individually. And I think the points are this, that's, that's my guess. I'm gonna start there with that guess, but I don't know if that's correct or not. Oh, look at that. I can spin the outside without spinning the middle. Oh, and there's also the nut on the inside. That's a cool piece. Oh, it stopped. There is a gap here. Oh, so, okay, let me go to that gap. Oh, oh, boom. I found a spot on the outside layer and then moved this one and I think I found another spot because now it is sort of half removed. Oh, there we go. I see. Nope. Oh, no, we lost it. Wait, why is this thing coming out? Ooh, this is very strange. Oh, weird. Okay, let me find that spot again. There's also a gap that I can see through there. It's hard to see, but there's a very tiny gap there. Might give me some insight if I can see into that gap. Okay, that's stuck now. It's, it's pressed in now, it's sort of in there. This is now locked. Now it's unlocked. Now it's locked. Whew, I have no idea what I'm doing. It's a tough one. The levels go up really quickly. So we know so far that there are these little dots. Those dots give us orientation. We also know that there's an outside wheel that also has dots. And then there's an inside wheel that is shaped like the outside wheel. That's actually a good point. So the dots should line up with the shape that's on the outside, right? That makes logical sense. And then you have these dots. Oh, okay, we're there now. That's fell in. This one, does this one slide over the other one? That'd be a cool mechanism if that's what happened. If that one like slid over it. Okay, we've made some progress. Okay, that can, oh, I see. That's sort of attached to that. See how that ring goes through? But as it goes down, it hooks the other one. That's interesting. Also, this one now is crooked. So it's fell down a layer that this one hasn't fallen down yet. That's where we're at. Ah, and I can sort of see the internal mechanism here, or the internal lining of this piece. Oop. Aha. Okay. We are now here, and we can clearly see the inside of that now. Well, clearly is a big word. But right there, there's the inside of what seems to be this one, or no, it is that one, okay. So now that that's cleared that, there's probably another sort of lip like this, but on this piece that I have to overcome by using this. And that one's come out the other side now, okay. It's almost out. There we go, there's that part now. This is really almost out. I'm 
just looking now. I guess for the right orientation. Oh, I see. I see. The nut that's in the middle has um, a small lip. And I have to get that lip out from there. But I have to get it into the other one. So to do that, I have to slightly push it back in. So I gotta find the point that the outer layer pushes in. And once that outer layer is pushed in, now I can hold that there. Hopefully slide this one out of the way somehow. Okay. Okay, push it in. Maybe I can just push in the middle piece. That would be great. I don't see what's holding this half of the valve behind because if I go here, I can take it out from that lip unless there's another lip like that. What is it holding on to? It's very tricky because now the center valve does not want to move independently side to side and therefore I have to go backwards in order to do something. So now I've pushed it in. Can I turn this now? I can. Once that is pushed in, I can turn it. So I'll keep that right there. I should not be having this much of a hard time understanding this. Okay, outer lip there, that's clear. Step one, two, that should be coming out. I don't get why it's not coming out. It's so close to coming out. <laughs> At this point, you might as well fall out. Let me read the back of this, hold on. So there's a maze by rotating each of the six corners and inside pieces. Decipher the unseen mechanism. Oh, they show us what the mechanism looks like here, by the way. I don't think that's cheating. I think that's what you're supposed to know. Uh, uh, uh. So there's a small little notch there. I don't know what that means, <laughs> to be quite frank. No idea what any of that means. Get back to square one. I'm trying to get the uh, screw, or the nut rather, to go through while this stays there. I think there's something to do with like going back and forth to each side. Oh, all right, that's the first. First time both sides of the same half, or both halves of the same side rather, uh, dropped a bit, so that's cool. I'm sure there's something I can take away from that. It'd be so much easier if I didn't have to use my finger like this. If I had a, an actual tool to fit in there. I think we're getting it. I can I can feel it wanting to happen. Okay, now it's just a matter of finding the right spot. Oh, and now that part's dropped. Oh, okay, so they drop individually from the middle to the sides. They go clunk, 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 clunk. So now I probably have to turn that side. So I have to find the right point for that side to come out. Oh, that side is coming out. Oh, hold on. Oof, we are almost out of the woods here. I don't want to force anything, but at the same time, ah, look at that. I think it's just a matter of twisting and finding the right spot for it to drop out of, but it's, it's kind of like bending now. <laughs> Oh, it dropped another another little bit. So now this has to drop. So we'll keep rotating if we can. This half. Ugh. This is really giving me a hard time. This one. It all has to do with that middle ring. Clearly, there's just three layers, right? There's this layer, there's the middle layer, and, and the uh, inner layer. And all three, I think the middle layer ha actually has two layers. 
And so they have to, they all have to line up, but there, I don't think there's one way to line them up where it just smoothly comes out. It's a matter of going back and forth and up and down to get them out of this maze, which is, which is yucky. These are my, by the way, least favorite uh, things are these internal mazes. I mean, least favorite. I wouldn't say least favorite. I would say least favorite on camera because there's nothing really to look at. Uh, for solving wise, they're actually pretty fun. You can just sit back and this is the type of thing you'd, I'd play around with if I was watching a movie I didn't care about or, you know, binging some reality show or something. <laughs> that sounds nice, right? Solving one of these puzzles while binging a very bad reality show. Come on, it's time now. I'm trying to find something different, but, but I'm so afraid because I've gotten it to this point. I'm so afraid to go back in. I don't want it to, I don't want to have to like reset anything or I've see I've gotten past this first thing. I mean, there's no way I have to go back up at this point. Is there, I think there is a way that I have to just keep rotating this. I don't even know how I made it past there. Oh yeah. Cause it rotate one half down. Okay. So that's what I gotta do. I just gotta keep rotating until I find that sweet spot, but it could be. This thing's very hard to turn in the middle. It like hurts my finger, but it does turn a little bit. So I turn it there. Aha. Okay. So now, yes, I have to rotate. You see that one? I have to get past that one. To get past that one, I think I got to rotate the middle and then do it. Yes. Oh, let's go. All right. Let's take a second here. Whew. Here are the middle parts. Pretty simple. <sighs> Pretty devious. So you got a chunk there. You got a chunk there, chunk there, three chunks on each side. This one's got a bit of a dip there. And you have this piece. And that's all that is. And then you have this piece. And this one as well has one, just two layers to get by. All right, I guess we attempt to put it back together. Now that I've mixed up all the pieces and don't know where anything goes, let's start. It would be so nice if I could just, just fit that in. Maybe I can to some extent. Where is there an opening on the bottom? There is none. That's why they have to go and see the cylinder is solid on these lines all the way around, which means there's no point of entry, which means the only way to enter would be to start shifting the pieces um, in a way that was staggered. That is the only way you can enter this puzzle. So I've realized that. Let's see if we can do just that. We got Haniyama on one side, which means we got the valve on the other side, which is perfect. That's what we want. So I think that, I think this, because these two layers are blocking the top half, I think they can just fit right in. Mm-hmm. And we are in like Flynn. Now, it's a matter of finding the right combination to where they fall right in, but it seems like it's not even in there yet. Hold on. Ooh, this might prove really tricky. Okay.
Now, see the thing is this thing won't rotate until I clear that and I can't clear that until this thing's in but this thing can't go in until I rotate. So this is like this whole catch 22 situation happening right now. Maybe also I just didn't place it in the right way to begin with. That's also a possibility that I'm frightened of. to just get it in a little bit more just a little bit more and I can clear that lip but that seems to be the most difficult part here that even that small amount that I need is just so impossibly far away oh Let's go, let's go. Just under an hour. It is flush, it is done, it is complete. About half an hour to take it apart, half an hour to put it back together. The valve, ladies and gentlemen, cast valve, done. Cast planet, where's my shank? All right, what can we find out about cast planet? Uh, first of all, looks like COVID, huh? Looks like the COVID virus, yes. A ball with the rugged projections and a ring around it. This is a maze puzzle that is solved by rolling the sphere. Designed by Masui Ono. I love this. This is a cool puzzle. Let's get started. This basically, uh, <laughs> yeah, you just gotta find the right places to rotate it and to eventually extract it, which can be quite difficult. Ooh. And then you gotta find out which side to rotate it on. And even a small movement like this might end up giving us a little bit of leeway, or it might not, who knows. There we go, no. Oh yeah, boom. This is supposed to be just as difficult, huh? Probably got some red herrings in here. A little rugged to move sometimes because there's so many little parts and the friction's kind of everywhere. I feel like I'm progressing, <laughs> but I haven't done anything. How weird. It's like the sphere is just simply rotating. There's gotta be one combination of the outer layer that matches exactly with the combination on the ring. And that's what we're looking for here. You know, it looks good, but no. Imagine this was your combination lock <laughs> and you had to remember the sequence. There's one side that it all just moves out from. Just keeps going around and around and around. Okay, so I gotta find the right ones that match up and then rotate the rest. And what I mean is by, if these two match up here, let's say, I know it's hard to see, but if these two match up, I can essentially keep those in the same spot and switch out the bottom ones by rotating it at an angle. I bet it'll be super satisfying once it's over. Like here, this move, for example, is just the same move over and over. Go here, rotate here, come back here. That's the same move over and over. I'm essentially putting it back together, but it's so confusing to watch. Oh my God. 
The problem is not fitting it between these two large ones. The problem is finding a tiny piece capable of fitting through the smallest little crack. And I think once I found that, I may have cracked the solution. I think it's this one, this little button here. If this little button, there's a tiny button there. Doop, doop. If that tiny button, I think if I can line it up with this, just like that, somehow, That'll be the solution. Is there another one on this side? Tiny button? There's not, but I can put it on that side if I wanted to, right? Still at square one with this one. Felt like it was gonna be easier. Yes. Woo. Let's go. Um, I was just looking for a part that fit there is all I was doing. And these little knobs, they do fit, but there is an orientation. So if they are a little bit out of line, they will not enter. But being said, getting it in there is going to prove a little difficult, I think. Yep, there you go. It is that little line right there that needs to be lined up with the T, with the space on the T right there that makes it go in. Otherwise, nothing will fit. There we go. And now at this point, it's just a matter of rotating it and getting it, mixing it all up so it goes back to normal. Try to mix up as much as I can. There we go. Boom. Cast Planet. I mean, this one to me, 
I understood a lot more than uh, the valve, which took me about an hour. Uh, I would put this one closer to this level, but maybe it's just because I understood something quicker uh, that I did not understand about this. But either way, let me know in the comments which one you preferred. Was it cross, valve, or planet? And uh, you know what? I'm going to choose one of the comments and I will send you all three of these on the house. So drop a comment below, subscribe, like this video. Well, there you go. It's been a while since we've done Hanayama puzzles. Uh, we actually slayed it, what, under two hours for three puzzles. I don't think that that's that bad, but these are uh, not, you shouldn't consume these puzzles in the fashion that I did. Unless you do them in like 10 minutes, that's fine. But don't spend hours on a puzzle. It's grueling. Hurts your brain, gives you headaches sometimes. Frustrating. Uh, come back to it. Go have a cup of tea, chill, and then come back to it. Leave it on the counter. That's my advice. But if you want to check these out, I left the link below, obviously. Uh, and thanks for all the support. Appreciate you. See you on the next one. Peace.